it's almost impossible to tell that this juicy burger is actually vegetarian. It tastes um, just like a burger. It feels good that once every now and then just have, you know, something without meat that's still tasty. In this meat-centric restaurant in downtown San Francisco, the vegetarian Impossible Burger earned its spot on the menu around a year ago. Protein is meat, whether it's plant-based or animal-based, I still consider it meat. Cooking an Impossible Burger is similar to cooking a regular burger. There's natural fats from the coconut. The company behind this burger has already sold almost four million of them and isn't the only one to cash in on the trend for alternative proteins. On the one hand, plant-based foods are promising. They can offer us a lower greenhouse gas alternative, which is better for the climate. They can potentially be more healthful for some consumers. On the other hand, they're ultimately a very processed food made in a, a factory setting. And this Bay Area startup manufactures mayonnaise made from yellow peas and scrambled eggs made from mung beans. As well as making egg alternative products, Just's researchers are also working on cell farming. So if I was a cow, I would take a cell from my body um, and I would feed that cell nutrients. We find those nutrients in plants and in the same way that you might brew beer, uh, we put those cells together in a, in a fermenter and they multiply many times, and at the end product, we have ground beef. But meat grown in a lab is still in the research stage and several years away from being available in supermarkets or restaurants.